Hi guys, it's Romina. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an experiment and changing all my thin and square brushes for this wide brush that has a rounded tip. So my problem with thin brushes is that they're not very easy to manipulate and you need six to eight strokes just to cover your whole nail. But this new brush will simplify that job and you can get it done just with three strokes. So today I'm testing 18 brands from the polishes that I have and I'm going to tell you if this brush will fit or not in these bottles and if you like this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and let's get started. So I got these brushes on Harlow & Co. These are the KB Shimmer Replacement Nail Polish Brushes. They are called Fan or Paddle Brush and they can come with or without the cup. If they're not available you can click here and you can receive a notification when they become available again. And there is a limit of 50 brushes per customer because it's just intended for personal use and not commercial use. So the packaging is not very fancy. They come in Ziploc bags. You have a smaller bag with all the brushes and in the bigger bag, you have all the caps. I recommend you get the caps just in case you need to replace one of your old KB Shimmer or a lot of the caps also fit in other bottles. So here are the two parts. You have the brush that is very rounded at the tip. It's very thin and it's also wide so it can cover the whole nail. Uh, it comes with a little bit of a coating or something. So it's recommended to leave on the nail polish bottle for at least a couple of hours just it gets softer but you can also separate it with your fingers and this will go inside this cup so first I'm going to compare it with the real KB Shimmer nail polish bottle so we can see that the cup is exactly the same, the same measurements, the same color and the brush is also the same so very wide and rounded at the tip so you can easily replace your old KB Shimmer brushes and caps. And I'm going to be using a pair of scissors to remove the brushes from the caps and replace them. So first we have Potion Polish. This is an indie brand that makes beautiful polishes. I got this one as part of the fall collection last year and the brush is very square and it's very chunky for me. So you end up with a lot of polish on the tip, which is not my preference. So here I'm replacing it for the KB Shimmer and I'm gonna reattach the same cap to see if it fits. If you wanna keep also at the look of the brand and this one definitely passed the test and it looks absolutely beautiful. Next we have OPI. This brand is very famous and it has a lot of different colors that I would love to have but I just really don't like the brush. It's too thin and very square at the tip so it's very difficult to manipulate for me. So I'm just gonna try to see if this one fits and I'm gonna reattach the same cap just to keep the same look of the brand and this one also passed the test. Uh, you can see though that the brush it will be a little bit shorter than the original one but that's not really a problem. So now I'm gonna try with a Holo Taco nail polish bottle. This is an all polish so it has this super thin brush attached to it and it was very difficult to remove it from the original cap so um, accidentally I ended up cutting it and I had a very hard time also to remove the part that was left inside the cap. So the next best option will be just to fit the new brush and put a new cap, the one from KB Shimmer and it fit perfectly so it wasn't an issue. The only thing is that the stick will be a lot shorter than the other one. And now I'm going to try with another Holo Taco polish because I really wanted to try if the brush will fit the original cap. So if you want to keep the same style, this would be a great option. So after a lot of work, I could remove it from the original cap and I replace it with the KB Shimmer brush and reattach the same cap. And it passed the test as well. It looks super pretty. And if you want to get their own white brushes, they are for sale in their website. I think they come in a pack of six pieces with the caps. Now we're going to try it with Orly nail polish. They have a very particular cap because it's like a silicone. So it's very easy to grab and the brush could be a little bit thicker sometimes and not as comfortable. So I do prefer the white flat brush instead of this one. It was very easy to remove it from the original cap and here I'm replacing it and I'm going to reattach the same cap and it worked perfectly with this polish. The only thing is that the stick also will be a little bit smaller than the original. 
Now let's try it for one of the Starly polishes. This color is absolutely gorgeous, but I don't use it as often because the brush is so difficult to use. It's very thin and also very square, so I don't like it at all. I'm just gonna remove it and try to see if the other one will fit. So I'm reattaching the same cap and it works perfectly as well. So you can see here that it's completely sealed and this color is super pretty. So next we have the Found Locker Nail Polish. This is a glitter polish that I got two to three years ago. I don't know if they have a new brush now, but this one has a very thin and square brush, which is not very comfortable to use. So I'm just gonna try and see if the new one fits. And I'm gonna reattach the original cap and it's not really working. So I'm just gonna go with the second option and try to attach the KB Shimmer cap that I bought and it's also not working. So the only solution is I'm gonna leave it as it was. Now let's try with the Moyo London. This is a stamping polish and it's very small. So you can see here that the stick is very short and also the brush is very thin and a little bit square at the tip. So uh, we're gonna replace it and we can see here that the rounded part of the brush, the one on top, it's really small compared to the KB Shimmer. So we already know that this is not gonna work and we can also see that it doesn't fit on the original cap. So now we're gonna try with Bow Nail Polish. This one has a square cap that is hiding the, the real cap here, uh, but I can already see that the bottle of the neck is too small, so probably it's not gonna fit. This brush also is very thin and square, so let's try it anyways. Uh, this was very easy to remove from the original cap, and you can see here that the nubble of the brush is way too big and it's not gonna fit. So the second option will be to try the KB Shimmer one, and it didn't work either so we have to leave it as it was you can see the different in sizes here so now i'm gonna try it in my unt base coat i use this quite a lot for my swatches and nail art but the brush is really uncomfortable especially on the cuticle area because it's very square but it also kind of opens up towards the tip so it's not really ideal this one was a little bit harder to remove so i had to just grab a paper towel and try to pull it away and i finally got it out so i'm just gonna replace the brush here and try to reattach the original cap and Fortunately, it worked perfectly, so this one really passed the test. Now let's move on to Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes. I use these polishes quite a lot for stamping because they're very pigmented, but the brush is not super comfortable to paint your nails with these colors. So I'm gonna try to replace it, but you can see the difference on the size. Probably if you replace it for the other one, it's not gonna reach the bottom of the bottle, probably just until half of it. So I'm gonna try to see if it works, but with the original cap, unfortunately it didn't work. So I decided to try the KB Shimmer cap and it didn't work either. So the only choice is just to leave it as it was. So now this is another line of Sally Hansen polishes. This is good kind of pure. Uh, this brush is really comfortable. I think this is one of my favorite brushes in the market. It's a little bit shorter than the KB Shimmer one, but it also has a rounded tip, which is very nice for the cuticle area. So we can see here that the knob part of the brush is very different in size. So I tried and it didn't work. We can see here that the original cup is not really the right size and even with the KB Shimmer cap, it doesn't work either. So we have to leave it as it is. Next we have Caddy Lacquer. This is one of the polishes that has a very comfortable brush to use. It's very rounded at the tip. It's very similar to the KB Shimmer one, uh, but not really the same. Here we can see that the knob of the brush is also very small in comparison to the KB Shimmer. So unfortunately it didn't work and I had to leave it as it was. So now we're gonna try in the Essie nail polishes. This is Expressi. So in this line, the company intentionally made this uh, brush not completely straight. They say it will help you to apply better the polish in your right hand and then in your left hand. So a lot of people don't like really this polish. So I'm just gonna uh, replace it here for a completely straight brush and it really worked perfectly. 
So now I'm gonna test it in a moon cut nail polish. Uh, this is a polish that I got in 2022. So consider that after that, the brand released a new brush and they also sell it in their website. So you can easily replace your old moon cut polishes. So I'm just gonna try and see if the KB Shimmer will fit in the original cup and it didn't. So I'm gonna try with the KB Shimmer cup and it didn't fit either. So I'm just gonna leave it as it was, but just consider that you can go on their website and they sell a pack of six polishes with new caps and these are supposed to be a little bit wider and comfortable to use. Now let's move on to Sear Colors Nail Polish. This is one of the oldest collections so it has a very thin narrow brush uh, compared to the KB Shimmer one but the collections that were released after that some of them come with the complete white brush that the brand offers. So I'm just gonna replace it very easy to remove from the cap and I'm gonna reattach the original cap and I thought it will fit because they look exactly the same but they're actually not the same inside so the KB Shimmer cap really work and it doesn't change the look of the brand but you can see here the problem this is a white cap from Sear Colors and it has like a double ring inside so it's not completely open until the end of the cap so that's why it doesn't fit. Remember as well that the brand also offers uh, the white brush for sale on their website. Now let's check the WhatsApp nail polishes. The newest polishes have this wide and rounded tip brush, but the older versions, uh, they come with a very thin and square brush like this one. So I'm just gonna replace it and try to see if it works. So in my opinion, a wider brush will be really helpful for stamping because you can cover more of the design in less time. So you have more time to stamp before the polish gets too dry. So this one totally passed the test, beautiful. Now let's see what happens in the Olive and June nail polish bottle. So this one comes with a very wide and rounded tip brush. So there's nothing wrong with this brush. I'm only gonna try and see if you could replace it in case something happens. And this brush comes with a tiny cap inside as well of the bigger cap. So I'm gonna try to remove this. It wasn't super easy, but with a little bit of force, I got it out. And I'm just gonna put the KB Shimmer on top of that. But unfortunately, it didn't fit with the first cap. And I tried to see if it will be better with the cap on top, but you can see here that the difference on the knob is huge. So that's why you have to leave it as it is. Now let's try with ILMP. So this brush is also a little bit thin and super square at the tip, so not my favorite at all. Uh, this brush was a little bit difficult to remove also from the cap, so I ended up damaging a little bit the stick of the brush. But I finally got it off and we can see here that with the original cap, it doesn't fit at all. And the second option will be to try the KB Shimmer cap and it also doesn't work with this bottle. So we have to just return it as original and leave it as it was. Now let's try it with a Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Line. This is also a polish that has a square brush. It's a little bit wider than the others though, but the stick is very long. So you can see here the difference. So probably the new brush is not gonna reach the bottom of the bottle. Uh, you will have to tilt it a little bit if you wanna get to that part. But it didn't work with the original cap and with the KB Shimmer cap didn't either. So I will have to leave it as it was. So next up, we have the Essie Regular Polish. This is a polish that I got two years ago probably, and it has this very thin and square brush. So you can see here the difference with the KB Shimmer, and the application takes forever with the thin brush, so I really don't like it. So I'm gonna try to replace it, and I'm gonna attach the KB Shimmer cap and it works perfectly with Essie. It also works with the original cap. I just forgot to record that part. So you can see here that it's super beautiful and it seals perfectly. So now let's see what happens with the Soya nail polish. These caps are very different to the other ones. Uh, you can see that the brush is very thin and very square at the tip as well. So it gets very difficult to cover the whole nail and uh, to cover the cuticle line. So you can also take a piece of paper towel and 
just uh, remove the brush from the cap uh, this one was very difficult to remove at first uh, but then I got it out and it has this plastic cap around the base of the brush so we can see here that the difference in sizes it's probably a sign that it's not gonna fit in the cap but let's try it so I'm just gonna place the KB shimmer polish and I'm gonna try it with the uh, this is the KB shimmer cap and it doesn't work and if you try it with the original cap it didn't work either so I'm just gonna have to leave it as it was and just remember that on the website you can find their specific white brush for this brand that will fit the cap from Soya and if you want to see other brands that I didn't show in my video, I will link a website in the description below where someone published a list of all the nail polish brands and all the brushes that will work for that brand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.